Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. This is Running On Empty Food Review. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thank you for tuning in and uh, checking this review out. You see, I'm breaking out the ever so rare bow tie this time around. I don't, I don't wear bow ties very often, though I do own a couple. Um, but I'm not really a big bow tie guy. It's so quirky right there, I know. Oh, I know. Um, but some bow ties are nice, you know, this one. I'm just feeling it. Feeling the bow tie this time around. Uh, for a special, a special new... Actually, this is a re-release. See, that's... That whole thing doesn't even work. Um, for a re-release, but I think it's been a couple years. So maybe it is a special release in some... In some way. I don't know where I'm even going with this. But uh, what I'm trying to tell you is that Taco Bell has a new item out. They have released the Bacon Club Chalupa. Now see, I'm wearing it because I'm going to the club, right? The Bacon Club Chalupa. This is uh, one of their many Chalupas. Of course, they have these. They have a hot blast. Um, but they, they have many different types of Chalupas, Chalupa variants. And you see this from time to time. Uh, the Toasted Cheddar Chalupa. Right? You remember the very lewd, uh, naked chicken chalupa? You remember that one from the glory days right there? And plenty of uh, others. I think they had like the double, triple chalupa or the... Yeah, all these different types of chalupas. They like their chalupas. This comes with the chalupa shell, hence the name, grilled chicken, bacon, avocado ranch sauce, lettuce, a three cheese blend, tomatoes and sour cream. It has a lot. It's one of those items that has a lot of ingredients, a lot to it, but maybe it will all blend together. So with the grilled chicken, I saw the picture. Uh, the grilled chicken was looking quality. It was looking good. We'll see how it actually is. But in the ad, I thought, wow, that's some good grilled chicken. I mean, it looks really good. You know, they make it, of course, that's the whole point of the ad, but it looks like it'll be a tasty item. Uh, available for the price of $3.49. So the uh, Bacon Club Chalupa. We'll see how good this one is exactly. Uh, one thing that I did have is a little bit of like a preview, so to speak. I got some Baja Blast. You might be saying, you could look, and you can see that is the Baja Blast. Uh, you might be saying, why exactly is it in a KFC cup? I saw that they had some, and what I always like doing is if, if they actually have any KFC you know, memorabilia, for instance. I save the cups. It's actually like a little bit of a hobby. I collect it, and I also like, right after I drink, sip it down, and then I look the kernel in the eyes every time that I do that, you know? Just to, you know, be on the same page there. Uh, but honestly, the Baja Blast this time around wasn't good. It wasn't good. It tasted like glorified seltzer water. Is that reflective of the quality overall of this establishment? Let's, well, let's reserve our judgment. You know, we'll see. But hopefully it's better than this Baja Blast, I will tell you that. Got it lined up on the plate there. As I was, as I was looking, you know, on online again at the ads and stuff. Ooh, see, there it is. It's a good cross-section of it, by the way. You can see a little bit of the chicken and the, ba the bacon there. Lots of cheese. See the tomatoes. And some of the sauce, I see it in this side a little bit. Kind of sneaking in there. You can see it's kind of there. I was looking, I was thinking about the last ice age, the last big ice age. Kind of reminded me of the, the fjords, you know? have the two peaks, then you have the valley there, and this is like a glacier, you know, in it, a glacier of ice. Really interesting, you know, but I guess in this case, you have the chalupa shell instead of little mountains, and instead of ice, you have ingredients that are hopefully quality. So what I'm gonna do real quick, just as a thumbnail shot, is, um, you know, we'll get something like this, you know the way it goes. You know, something like that. You saw I was really doing the, the quirky finger point. I'm taking it a step further than we usually do. All right, enough babbling. I'm wasting time right now. So let's just eat it. We'll see how it is. The um, Bacon Club Chalupa from Taco Bell going in. Mm. 
No. Hmm. Forget about that bite. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Just take another one. I'll tell you after one more bite what my issue is off the bat. I am not a Chalupa fanatic, but I've certainly had my share of them. You know, the shell isn't always everything, but it usually has a little bit of flavor to it. You know, it has a firmness, a crisp to it, perhaps. But this shell is reminiscent of cardboard in a sense that it's extremely dry, flavorless, tough, when you're ripping it with your teeth, it feels like, I don't know, you're like ripping paper or cardboard or something. Um, not a pleasant experience, I will tell you that. Well, again, take two more bites. That's a problem. It's a definite problem. Had it not have been for the, the chalupa shell and some of that it, the issue that it presented, I wouldn't really have much of a problem with this item. Uh, everything else is there, and it blends together nicely. There's nothing that's, you know, overtly overwhelming, so to speak. You can see, here's a little close-up of some of the chicken, what it looks like with the sauce on it. Um, one thing that is worth mentioning real quick is that uh, they say avocado ranch sauce. They don't really taste much avocado in that, though. I mean, I imagine, let's just try this right here. No. No, it's more of just a standard ranch dressing, even a little on the watery side, perhaps. But not, I would not say that is resoundingly avocado-esque in nature. Everything else there, I mean, is decent. Grilled chicken is okay, just had a, a piece. That's not, it's not stringy. It's not chewy. It's not like, you know, cat food or something. Um, you know, it's little slices of the grilled chicken you could see, but definitely, you know, some flavor there. It's got a little bit of a, I, I bet they would call it a southwestern seasoning sprinkled on it. Bacon is, is, again, it's there. It's innocuous. It's little, you know, tiny little bacon bits that add some flavor. It's okay. The bacon and the chicken actually complement each other pretty nice. The ranch sauce is a little lackluster. It's a standard ranch sauce. It adds a little bit of moisture, which actually this kind of needs, considering the shell. And, um, you know, it's just the avocado, though. I can't really taste any avocado in that. Uh, the three cheese blend is okay. I mean, it's just, you know, it looks more just like your... Usual, um, I don't know. I guess there's three cheeses in there. I just see a single cheese blend. The tomatoes are okay. They're fresh and, this, you know, some sour cream there also. But it's just, I'm really disappointed at the shell. Because texturally speaking, even from the first bite, it's tough to enjoy it when you have, again, it's like you're eating cardboard. It's really, really tough to enjoy. It takes one ingredient that's bad sometimes, that can ruin what would otherwise be a good item. And that's disappointing. This is something that has potential. But there's something with the shell. I don't know if it's old, I don't know if it's stale, I don't know if it's cooked for too long, or what. That's, it's taken a good thing and it's ruined it completely. So, disappointed in that. Very disappointed. 
Uh, now you can see, I'm gonna sprinkle a tiny bit of fire sauce on it just for the heck of it. They also threw this one in. Uh, this is a new type of, of uh, fire sauce that they have that's called uh, cat sup. And that's uh, brand new. It's like one of those hidden secret menu items. But this is like, this is supposed to be, it's different than the fire sauce, but it's gonna be full of surprises. So that's just something to consider. Next time, maybe ask for cat sup. Tell them that Review Bra sent you, too. Uh, we'll just put a tiny bit of the fire sauce on. <laughs> Some spice certainly doesn't detract from it. I don't say that the ingredients otherwise need any additional spice, but it certainly isn't isn't a problem. It's not one of those things that will make it any worse than it already is, so to speak. I'm disappointed in this one, though. It's $3.49. Maybe it's just the one that I got, but in the end, I'm just the consumer. You know, I'm just going there to get something to eat, and this is what I wound up with. Some of the ingredient combinations are a little disappointing, but that shell is really a big bummer. This can be fixed. It can be fixed. It could be improved, and if it is, it'll certainly be much, much better. So, I mean, your own mileage may vary, but be aware that if there's an issue with the shell, there's an issue with the whole thing. Therefore, out of 10, uh, I'm just gonna have to give this a three out of 10. It's such a major issue. Everything else in it is okay, but it's just one thing that ruins it and really, really ruins it. So, that's a problem. Uh, Taco Bell, I hope you guys are able to fix that, whatever the issue might be, and uh, then this will be, you know, much better. That's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. Today, we tried out the Bacon Club Chalupa from Taco Bell. Thanks again, and uh, if you get one, hopefully yours will be better than how mine was. If you get it, let me know how yours was in the comments. I'm interested in some feedback on that to see if this is an issue with other ones as well. So let me know. All right, that's all that I have. Uh, be safe, be healthy, and I wish you all the very best.